All right, a lot of cars, go away. Up here with my buddy Pierce and uh, going back to Maxfield Pyrite Mine where we came last year and see if we can get some more awesome pyrite and quartz crystals like this one and see what else we can find. So I'm gonna have a little 15 minute hike up there and enjoy some scenery and then we'll get digging. All right, it's a whole five minute walk from where I just left y'all a second ago. We're already here. So, get flipping around the camera, get searching a little bit, and climb up this hill and see what we can find. Uh, Pierce just found this big old quartz specimen. Big old hunk of quartz. Um, granite or something maybe? Yeah, oh. Trunker of quartz. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's a bunch of that. Quartz is everywhere. I was gonna say, I keep seeing that everywhere. Oh wait, that's not quartz. That's feldspar. See the flat shimmer there? It has those flat edge shimmers. Yeah. And then how soft it is. Yeah, I think that's feldspar, not quartz. Okay. Just found a little chunk of what looks like a geode or a vug. Looks like some botryoidal formation in there, probably chalcedony. Or some sort of sulfur maybe. It's pretty dirty. Might clean that up. Little crystal sandwich there. Someone's gonna claim I planted this, of course. But there's the first pyrite we see. And if y'all saw my video last year, you'll remember this stuff is just everywhere. So we're going to start moving some dirt, looking around for some big chunks. And I did not bring a tripod, so I'm going to make a little uh, rock mount for the phone. So just found some chunks of what I believe to be some Galena ore. But you know, this is a silver, lead, gold containing mine, which we know. But check out this piece that I just found that Pierce is checking out. Looks a lot like some of the Galena ore I found last year, right? Look at the gross growth there, but check this out. Ooh, look at that shimmer. Oh, that's a peacock uh, pyrite. I thought it could be gold, but now looking at it like this, oh, kind of shimmery pyrite. Who knows, maybe we'll find some gold today. So, ignoring the dead bird and the tons of flies, gonna walk on over and check out these honey holes. It looks like people were digging on that hill. Looks like they got some big spots people were digging out. I really wanna find more of those awesome quartz crystals like I showed y'all at the beginning. I'm hoping to find at least one today, because that one was from last time. This is kind of steep, a lot steeper than it looks. So this is looking out level. So it's a very steep. Like, <laughs> you can see I'm standing with my toes way down. <laughs> it's steep. some someone's honey hole oh no people don't dig out under the trees please everyone watching my channel do not do this this tree is alive this tree is living we do not need to be removing the root system of this living tree that's just not cool please don't
<laughs> so as with a few of my videos recently, my camera wasn't recording when I thought it was. I made a little rock tripod, set my camera up on it, and did some digging for a while. Wanted that clip here of like a time lapse of digging and sifting through dirt. Oh well, we lost that. But I met some cool people that came up. Uh, I met them in the Rock Hounding Utah group, and so they came and joined us up there, dug around for a little bit, and left. And this next part is after they left, just going to be a short another little minute on the mountain, and then we're going to go look at some of those goodies back at the house. Okay, so we were up here for a little while. Some people uh, met on a rock counting group, came up and joined us for a minute. Found this big old beast of a chunk of crystals. Look at that. And a whole bunch of goodies in here. Sorry I didn't film more, but I'm going to come back in the evening and film more for you all. And get these home, clean them up, and show you what we found. So this is one of them I Hi, found buddy. today. So I got back to my mom's house, and this one is crazy! This one I actually find in the next video, which yes, there's gonna be a part two with a lot more video of actual rock hounding. So if you're missing out on the rock hounding content in this one, don't worry. The next video will have a lot more. But I went to my mom's, gave these a little bit of a wash, and this one is definitely gonna need a bunch of iron out cleaning once I get back home to New York. So definitely wait to see how that one looks later. As for today's video, I'm sorry to say that this is it. I know it was a really short one and I enjoy y'all watching here and being with me and especially those who come to the premieres and the live chat. Thank you so much. It's always a blast. I promise we'll have a longer one next week, but I'm out on vacation right now. We're in Wisconsin. I was just up in Herkimer. Before that, I was in Utah digging these. So I've been all around, really busy, and not as much time to edit. But every Thursday, I will see y'all for another video. And until next time, take care. I would just keep sifting through this looking for the little points like I was finding, but as soon as walking around and finding a big chunk with like 50 points on it, it's a lot better than just finding a couple little ones of these, you know? Just in my opinion. Boop.